So what does decomposition actually mean? The literal concept refers from the general to the specific. So let's look at the general first, okay? First we start with the most immediate ideas and they become the basis of our formulation. Later we're able to go ahead and become much more specific with our ideas and, and we can then rather easily start building a path to that of what we consider to be comprehensive. Let's start looking at the concept from a basic level. The example you have in front of you right now represents a depiction of a non-functional requirement decomposition. Do you see the breakdown from the general to the specific? Here, where we're talking about a method of business analysis that separates a complex business process to show its specific elements. Functional decomposition is used to facilitate the appreciative and controlling of large and or difficult processes and can be used to help explain problems. It's also used in computer engineering to help with software design. What we are talking about primarily is uh, disintegrating a large problem into smaller functions or deliverables. The primary objective of functional decomposition is to ensure that the problem is separated into sub-problems that are as independent as possible so that the work can be assigned to different groups. It provides the ability to measure and manage large projects. This approach is important because it enables us to think in progressive ways to better define what the issue is. Uh, what elements do we need to take into consideration? Are there some components that haven't been taken into consideration so far? Um, and what are the options we have in addressing the need or the problem? Any opportunity we have to think and react in a systematic fashion is one that is clearly worth pursuing. How many of you are using decomposition already in your activities? I am looking forward to seeing your comments within our course forum. Thanks for joining.